no motorbike weather for me. Absolutely not. Right. Um, fuel bowl. Plastic bowl. Metal. Plastic. I don't think there's any... Um, can't see down there but I don't think there's any options on this really kit fuel in a metal bowl easy as that don't keep them in a plastic bowl um, I know them plastic bottles are tough and I know they're um, you know they're meant to withstand crushing and all that game but no that is what they're for it don't leak <laughs> I'd have looked right plum if that had leaked, wouldn't I? <laughs> right, anyway, uh, that's all I've got to say about that, really. Um, these bottles, let me put it out there a second and get rid of this plastic one into the bin. That's where it goes. Remember to disclose, disclose, explode. Remember to um, dispose of the plastic bottle that, that have had inflammable fluids in them correctly. Don't just throw them anywhere. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that as well um, obviously don't smoke when you're doing that don't be stupid any naked flames near that just don't do it um, right wait there for that I'd go and shut the door it's bloody freezing in here um, right, next thing, uh, we'll come to this in a minute, but next thing, it's all about, um, what's today's video? Today's video really is a mashup. Um, right, leather, it's leather, I know it's leather, it's leather, um, it's got my favourite, uh, knife in there, if you have to have a favourite knife. I've not got any lever oil, I've not got anything like that, it's brand new, it's stiff as arseholes. Um, so, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. Right, answers down below to this, but olive oil. A um, little bit on the cloth, and then just, and then just rub it into the lever. Alright, I'm going to do this two or three times, I'm, I'm not going to do this just once and then leave it. Uh, because you've got to let it get it all into the you know every little nook and cranny and all that get it give it a good dose a good old dose um, now then like I said answers down below or, or replies down below Oops, uh, throw it on the floor oh. throw it on the floor anyway um, yeah, answers down below, replies down below, questions down below, all them down below stuff that you do. Um, because a, a lot of people say, well, no, don't use olive oil, don't use anything like that. Uh, must be properly linseed or vegetable or gun oil or, you know, you know the sort of thing I'm saying. Um, there's always going to be somebody that says, don't do that. Now, I don't mind that. I don't mind someone saying, don't do that. Like leaving your bike over the winter, don't leave it, don't leave the petrol tank half full. If you can, fill it, fill it right up, you know, right up to the top petrol tanks. That's another story, we're in the summer now. Um, right, that has given it a good old dose. What I'll do is that will dry and that will sink into that lever, hopefully. Make it more supple, because at the minute it's, it's, it's rock solid and very slippery. There we go, I chose. Right, that's that. Um, I'm going to leave that, leave that to do whatever that does. Um, but like I said, if you've got a better way of doing that, that, that doesn't mean going to buy, um, going to buy special oils that cost five hundred pound a liter and all that. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Bossed you on the way back. Um, let me know. Another question for you that um, 
Really help me out, really help me out. Let's just adjust this because I boinked it. I boinked you. You've been boinked by me. Um, old cameras, like the old, um, you know, the, the action cams. Um, I've fitted two to the bike now. One face is forward, one face is back. And I want to do sort of a, a you know, a, just a little collection of little video bites and all that. But um, I've got to do the, 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 the speaking over. I've got to do the voiceover for it um, because I don't really want to connect a camera. Uh, sorry, I don't want to connect a microphone to the camera. I don't see the point, really. Uh, the, the camera itself picks up noise, it picks up engine noise um, and I kind of like where it is, it's not at the front of the bike, it's not used as like a dash cam, it's just, it's an action cam but it faces forward uh, from the side of the bike, um, yeah and I love it but I do love it. I do love it. I like looking at. I like looking back on it and seeing what the camera saw and all that. I mean, I just wish it'd pick up on the the people that are on their phones in their cars. I wish it would pick up on that. Um, I might think about if there's another place I can put it where it will pick up on that because so many people are still using their phones in their cars and in the and lorries. So many lorry drivers using their phones because they just think they're too high, they can't be seen. Well, look, that's not true. Lorry drivers and car drivers, if you use your phone, and I mean phone in the hand using your phone, a la exhibit A, I'm on the phone while I'm driving like a fucking idiot. Um, yeah, if, if you do that, you are a fucking idiot. No doubt about it. That's what this phone, this this what a video is going to be. That's the title of this video. If you use your phone while you're driving a vehicle, you're a fucking idiot. Um, I set a challenge for you. I set a challenge for you. Even if you're using the hands-free, uh, whatever device you've got. Take a car journey of 10, 15 minutes and speak to someone on the phone when you leave and speak to someone uh, say goodbye to them when you get back right take a 10 15 minute journey if you can record the journey on your dash cam or you know action cam whatever you like right now ask yourself what road signs you saw in that journey and if you can, try and do a journey you're not familiar with. I mean, it's easy to go. To, I could go to the co-op and tell you all the road signs. Um, and by the way, the co-op is that way. All right. But do that. Or when you've got off the phone, when you're speaking to someone, when you get off the phone, challenge yourself. Say, what road signs did I see back there? And if you want to, go back and have a look, and you'll be wrong. You'll be wrong. If you're not wrong, you are lucky. Because while you're on the phone, your mind is concentrating on what you're talking about and who you're talking with, not what you're doing. Easy as that. Easy as that. What about this for a cup? This ain't a cup. This is a bucket. It's a bucket of tea. Yeah. All right. I've had a whinge now. I've had a whinge for 10 minutes. So that's it. All right. Okay. I won't get enough tea lately. Um, right. This. This. I picked this up and the uh, roller bag that goes on the top. And I picked it up for 20, 20 quid off of, um, I think it was Facebook Marketplace, 20 quid. Anyway. I've not got a, I've not got a, a sissy bar, as they say, a sissy bar to connect that to. I've not got a sissy part, but what I have done, underneath there, are it's loaded at the minute, polystyrene going anywhere. Yeah, it's loaded up with me cooking equipment at the minute, but what I have done is I put bolts through the bottom and I'm going to Instead of bolting it to that rack, 
I'm going to bolt through onto another plate and I'm going to sandwich that plate because that's got wood. I put a wood box in there. Um, so it's going to go through there and then I'm going to bolt that to that and that will sandwich that to the rack. Easy peasy. Um, but I wouldn't mind some ideas on a quick release mechanism because once that's bolted, it's bolted. I've not got the chance to take it off if you like. I mean, I can empty it. It don't weigh that much when, when it's empty. It weighs nothing. Um, but ideas, wouldn't mind some ideas. Quick release, bolt systems, where can I get them, who does them, what they called, all that game. All right, okay. I'm spinning through this bloody video. Spinning through the video. Um, next next subject, I stay, stay with it, kids, stay with it. Um, At the back, I'm gonna, I've done a little video, I've just done a little walkthrough of out the back of my shed. Now, I've talked about this before. It's it's no man's land. It doesn't belong to anybody. The council says it's not theirs. Um, all the residents, it's not on their deeds, not on their land plots and all that. Um, so it belongs to no one. But, but people, including myself, are taking the proverbial piss out of it because it's become a dumping ground. Uh, now I'm I'm guilty of that. I put some stuff out there that I promised myself I'd take to the dump um, weeks ago, weeks ago. I still ain't done it. Um, now the dumping place around our way isn't open seven days a week. It closes, I think it's only open for five days, four or five days, it might be four days, but uh, I think they're closed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday can't be sure anyway I'm as guilty as that as anyone and my problem with this is that it is a dumping ground but we're dumping on our own doorstep even though it's not the front of the house it's at the back of the house it's our place and it's our job to keep it tidy if you like and I don't really know the right way of doing this I don't read really, I don't want to go around saying to people like clear that fucking shit up because I don't want to get all kind of aggressive about it I want to encourage people to do it there's an old lady down there she must be at least 90, 99 even 110 she's old um, I mean she might be only 50 but had a really hard life but you know anyway um, she paid someone she paid someone to clear all down the side of her house, because her house is next to the alley. She paid someone to clear all down the side of the house and at the back of the house. And it's not even her house. She rents it, but she paid somebody to do that. Because, and I said to her, I said, oh, it looks really nice. I said, um, what made you do it? She said, I was sick of the sight of seeing it. Now that's somebody who rents a property. Now if somebody could rent a property and do that to a rental, we all own our houses or mortgage. We should be able to do that to us. I, mean, just, I was quite embarrassed really for myself and for the others because it's it's a tip out there. I've done a little video. I'll, I'll put the video on. I think I've done a voiceover to the video as well. So I'll, I'll put that in somewhere along here. Um, but anyway, again, your your views, your thoughts, your, you know, whatever's. Um, I'm keeping these gloves on because it's cold in here. It's cold. I mean, for God's sake, it's, it's the, what is it, the 11th? Oh, I must say happy birthday to Lizzie. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, so it, it's, anyway, your views, your thoughts, your ideas, what do you think? Um, right, next one. Next one, I'm going to cover a lot of subjects. I'll try and remember what subjects I've done. And I'll try and include it. Excuse me. Oh. I'll try and include it in the um, description. But I, I'm really racing for I've got loads on my mind. I don't want to make it separate videos because they'll, you know, I want to get it all out in the open. I might do this as an introduction and then do separate videos on all what I've talked about again. In fact, I think I will because they're going to take up a little bit more room when we've got some more ideas and more you know, advice from you guys. Um, 
Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. Um, sorry, I thought someone was coming in. <laughs> Good idea. Wife bought me this. Good idea. Fits on your wrist. And it's a, it's a magnetic, um, it's a magnetic, do die big boss. It's a magnetic thing. Goes on your wrist like that and it's magnetic. So when you pick up a screw that I haven't got to hand, uh, when you pick up screws and all that, put them on there. They're ready to use for you to put in. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Another cheap shit from China. Um, yeah, but yeah, so let's get these ideas. Let's get the ideas rolling. I, I really want to hear from you guys. I want to know what you, you think about the things I've just spoke about. I want to hear your ideas. Um, you know, all that stuff, all that stuff. Um, we want to get it, we want to get it, I want to get these things going. Um, this was going to be a, a short video about one of the subjects I've just talked about. It's turned out to be a bit of a mini rant. Um, and don't get me on mini rants because I've had a conversation on YouTube. Uh, it was a comment on somebody else's video about the flat earth. Sometimes you think, well, look, ignore it. Just ignore it. Because, as John Cleese says, stupid people don't really know how stupid they are. Now, I'm lucky I know how stupid I am. I'm lucky like that. But really stupid people don't know how really stupid they are. And John Cleese is right on that. Slurp time. Um... What I said was, I left a comment which said something along the lines of um, that when, I said this before, when they built the big battleships in World War II, because they couldn't see what they were going to hit, they had to work it out mathematically where these ships were over the horizon. Um, they had radar, but it wasn't really that good. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't good radar. Uh, and not all ships had it, but the Bismarck, the Tirpitz and the Yamamoto could all hit ships they couldn't see. And that was my point. They had to work that out. They had to work out how to hit a ship they couldn't see. It was all about mathematics and radar and all that game. Um, if, they, if they didn't... If they, could have, if they could have seen the ships, it would have been easy, but they either had to work out how to hit these ships over the horizon, and they had to do it with maths, they, they didn't have computers at the time, um, they had to do it all in their heads, which again is remarkable, because these days you just click a few buttons and boom, it's all done for you, but in them days... You didn't. You had to put a pen to paper and work it out, which is incredible. Um, and all I said was, I said, if the earth was flat, all they'd need is a bigger binoculars because they could see what they were going to hit, but they couldn't. Now, I've had some real dumb comments um, about the Coriolis. You can't prove the Coriolis effect. What that's got to do with hitting a ship from one side to the other, I really, really don't know. Um... Explain it to me. Explain it to me. Um, but, yeah, really should be comments. But in saying that, I had some really positive comments. You know, well said and well put and all that. Because uh, because there ain't an argument for that. that, that that's how it was. Um, one guy even said that, that a Marine on a shooting range has challenged someone to prove... A curve or something but 
Well, he, he, he is one of the stupid people that I'm on about because at a shooting range, if you ask any sniper in any force, armed force, any sniper, he must, he has to adjust. He has to adjust for wind, height, everything to hit that. And he's got little marks in his sights. Uh, that he adjusts his range too. You see when they're, they're doing this clicky thing on the side and the clicky thing there. Well, that's adjusting his sight to allow for wind, height, everything. Because a bullet just doesn't go straight. It actually goes like that because of gravity. Another thing they dismiss. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that was the views on that. I had a little mini rant about him on that. But I... I don't swear to these people. All these people, they always swear at you and call your names and all that. But I don't swear. I just, they just put it in English, hoping they can understand it. I, I ask them not to swear, keep it civil. Uh, but it's hard for some of them. It really is. Like one bloke said, he said, right, he said, um, okay, you believe in a flat earth? Show me a photo. Show me a photo of this dome thing. Show me a photo of the earth from a plane that, that you can see all of the flat plane. You know, just show me a photo of that. Um, right, another one was um, the, talking about maths and all that. It's really going... It's out there, this, this video, isn't it? It's out there. Um, uh, the one and two spaceship spacecraft that we sent to not discovery voyager voyager one and two when they was doing that when i was working out to do voyager one and two to to send it beyond our solar system into outer space um they had to do that with maths maths and a guy who, who did this I might be wrong, correct me if I am, but he did this with maths and a pen and paper. No computers, it was 1970 something, I think, when, when they were launched. So bear in mind, when they were launched, they weren't as technical as this phone when they were launched. Um, they've got update facilities or upgrade facilities on their platforms, but really they are as basic as you can get for a thing that you send far away. And the reason that to work it out because they used the gravitational pull of other planets, um, flat earthers, to whip them round the planets and speed them off into the next planet, like Neptune, Saturn, um, Uranus, um, as far as as far as they could see. And then when they got to the end of the solar system. Voyager 1 went that way, and Voyager 2 went that way. They both went their separate ways, against, up and down from the um, the elliptical plane that all the planets kind of sit on. Amazing, just amazing. Absolute amazing. Amazing stuff using maths. 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 Anyway, um, I think that'll do us, because I've ranted on now I've ranted on about stuff don't get me on Trump and uh, I like Trump I like him I do I don't care if you don't know because they're your views everyone's entitled to their views my views are my views your views are your views and you know, you're you're fully entitled to your views and I respect that I really do don't tell me I'm wrong because I have another view I've just got another view I'm not wrong it's just my view like saying that you're driving on the wrong side of the road when you go to another country. You're not. You're driving on the right side of the road to their country, not the wrong side. There's no wrong side to drive in when you go to another country. There really isn't. That'll do us. That'll do us for now. That'll do us for now. Right, until next time, I'll see you later. Be good. Don't become an idiot. Don't become a flat earther. And if you're, if you want to know something, ask, ask, read, research, do all the shit you're meant to do. Remember, like you when you was at school. Right. Till next time, I'll catch you later.
ever since this ground was known to belong to no one it's been used as a dumping ground ever since and it's a shame really because this area could be a, a really nice area I'm to blame as well after my fair share The area really doesn't belong to anyone, so you can dump whatever you like here. Underneath that is a load more other shit. There was toilet basin and this stuff. There used to be a car over there, an old larder. It was there for about ten years, and it's strange because while that was there. Nobody dumped anything. This lady here, she's cleared all this and all this to make it look respectable. And what a credit to the, to the neighbourhood she is. Absolutely wonderful. But like I said, while, while that car was there, nobody dumped anything. But since the car left, it's just a dumping ground. And I'm... I'm kind of guilty of that as well. I've used it as a no man's land, which is what it is. The council say it doesn't belong to them. It's not on our deeds. Anyway, so there it is. Even the fences between the gardens belong to both houses. Nothing belongs to us. There you go.